Hello, my Taurus friends. This is your reading for May 2019. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let's see what's going on for you guys this month. May 2019. Love messages for Taurus. Please show me love messages for Taurus. Love messages for Taurus. We have... The devil energy here uh, could be a Capricorn individual that is significant for you guys, but this is all about feeling attached to someone, feeling like um, you're having a hard time letting go, or somebody's feeling like they have a hard time, they're having a hard time letting go of you guys here, okay? This is all about working hard for some of you. Um, concentrating on something, wanting to make something happen, okay? Addictions even, feeling addicted to someone, like you just cannot get them out of your head or somebody can't get you out of their head here, okay? Then we have the King of Cups. I feel like there is definitely an attachment to someone, um, maybe Cancer Scorpio, Pisces individual here. But I feel like this is all about wanting to express um, love for someone, wanting to let them know that, you know, you're emotionally stable, you're emotionally ready for this commitment or a commitment, a relationship, okay? Or again, this may be somebody feeling this way about you. Okay, this is also for some of you. Um, there's somebody I feel that is close to you that may have um, alcohol dependency. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Cups there. Now we have a couple Cancer energy. I'm feeling strongly there's somebody that you guys really love but this is not one-sided this is not one-sided this is somebody that loves you too but right now I feel this person is restraining themselves from expressing to you okay I feel like this person is waiting to see something from you guys here. It's like there is a contingency here. It's like they, they, they're they open to giving to you or expressing to you, but maybe there's a change that they want to see in you guys. Maybe they want to see that um, you are emotionally stable, that you're not angry, that you're not drinking anymore for some of you. Hmm. A lot of cards flip over there. Let's see what they are. Um, the chariot here wanting to move forward. I'm definitely getting that. Somebody here is looking for the one. Somebody's somebody's looking for the one, wanting to be happy, wanting to start over. A lot of confusion around it though. We have the Chariot, the Star, the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. I'm, I'm feeling this, this energy of wanting to pick up where we left off. Knowing, knowing what we want for sure now. Somebody here knows they didn't know before what they wanted. But now there's no question about whether or not this is the person or whether or not you want to be with this person or if this person wants to be with you. There's no question at this point. There was a lot of confusion around it. But no longer. Then we have the Four of Swords.
you guys are definitely not talking here with this Four of Swords energy. Um, there's a lot, I feel, of recuperation in this connection between you and this other person. A lot of mutual feelings shared between the two of you that I don't think that you've discussed because there again there's been a lot of of hurt that has transpired between the two of you and somebody is taking right now I feel like this Queen of Cups energy um, this this very feminine energy is in recluse and not um, I don't feel on purpose I feel like this is all about um, protecting themselves here okay please show me more about this devil energy then we have the seven of swords hmm. this is this is unbecoming behavior so I'm feeling this queen is protecting herself or himself from this unbecoming behavior that's been exhibited before but I'm feeling that there, there's somebody here that has changed. There's somebody here that's changed here. Okay. And we have the Empress here. That's you guys, Taurus. I feel like a lot of you guys realize. Um, hang on one second that looks really dark hold on guys but a lot of you guys have realized you know the error of your ways and and what you have possibly done to um you know that this when this light is not coming on i'm not sure there we go <clears throat> you've realized the error of your ways and I, i'm feeling like you guys are holding yourselves accountable at this point okay um taking responsibility for whatever behavior you feel like you exhibited that caused this separation between you and um, this other person here okay I'm seeing Libra cancer energy here um, hmm. maybe Aries Taurus another Taurus like yourself Aquarius Capricorn energy And then we have the Queen of Swords. This person wants wants to hear something. They they want to. This person is very loving, okay. But I don't feel like they're not with that bullshit though. Whoever this is, like if if you guys want to have a conversation, I feel like they would have a conversation. If this is you, feeling like you know you want to take responsibility for some things that have happened in this situation I feel like this person will definitely be open to hear it um, but it's gonna be you know absolutely no bullshit okay they're wanting to hear the truth and I feel like this person feels like they will know the truth when they hear it okay let's see please show me more about this fourth source energy the Eight of Swords. Hmm. For a long time, I feel like this person um, was worried, was hurt, was not resting, was constantly thinking about things that happened from the past, constantly. But they feel like right now they can see through the bullshit. They're no longer trapped in misery in this in this never ending loop of confusion they don't feel that anymore they feel like um, they're free they're free they're resting nothing is worrying them nothing can bother them because they will be able to cut out the bullcrap but again I feel that this person if if the if the if the exchange is genuine, they would definitely be willing to listen here as a Queen of Cups energy. But this Queen of Cups has her cup hand over the cup. That means that she's she's very controlled and she's not, or he is not um, just open to give, you know, 
without feeling like it's safe okay so um gemini energy there so let's see what other energy is coming in for you guys in the month of may what energy is coming in for you guys for the month of may and by the way happy birthday you guys for those of you whose birthdays are um at the time that you are viewing this reading let's see what other energy is coming in for taurus what other energy can taurus expect in may Mm, ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups jumped. And the Spellcaster's Tarot here. I feel like there is definitely a chance to reunite and to have that happy family, that loving relationship. I feel like you guys are definitely in search of here. And then we have the Four of Cups energy. I feel like um, there is, there's still going to be like a longing for for this this situation to to change because again I feel that um, you guys are not speaking here with this four of swords energy this person is very comfortable at this this point in May I don't see very much happening like as far as like actual um, action being taken in this situation I feel like I'm getting from this that if there is any action to be taken is probably going to have to be on your part for those of you who this situation is resonating with okay let's see nine of cups yeah right now this person is enjoying um friends and family i feel like they are happy within themselves. I feel like they do have this level of self um, fulfillment at this point. Just kind of enjoying life and not feeling um, chained or tied up to happenings from the past. I'm feeling there was some very toxic energy that um, was between you guys as well. I do feel like there is an attachment here still though. And then we have the Knight of Chalices. All of these cards are cup cards, which means that, you know, there is a definite emotional connection between um, the two of you. I feel that either either you guys are definitely wanting to approach this person with with an offer of you know starting over just letting this person know that you know you are able to take accountability for your part in this separation because it takes two to tango okay um but I'm either it's you guys or there's somebody else I feel that is coming um, that feels you know these very strong emotions for this individual here in this situation for May somebody that is wanting to um, that's daydreaming about this situation of daydreaming about uh, you know, just having this this loving commitment with this individual whom you guys are thinking about currently, okay? So keep that in mind. If you feel like there's something that, you know, you need to do or you want to do, um, there's no time like the present to do it because I, I'm definitely getting this sense that this person has options and they are open to dating right now whoever this is okay so we have again capricorn we have cancer scorpio pisces energy here libra is here aries i feel is here as well aquarius gemini energy is here maybe another taurus like you guys okay so that's what i have for you for the month of may and i'll be speaking with you guys soon